We had refused to watch the video until then. And we were all just like crying. I've go, gone down in history as one of the worst pieces of film I've ever watched in my life. I've always been musically inclined, I guess. Let's see. Um, I started playing in band, like high school band, except not in high school, it was in middle, middle school. I played trombone because I thought it was the tuba. I, I just thought it would be funny to have around the giant sousaphone, the one that wraps around you, and like with the big bell and me being like four feet tall in fifth grade, you know. And uh, turns out the trombone was not that instrument. And, I just stuck with it and played it all throughout high school. And then one year I decided I wanted to play like rock instruments. So I decided to start with bass and I don't really know why I decided to start with that. Um, I guess it's because no one plays bass I felt like and I was like, it's like the hipster instrument. We had a talent show at our school and um, this kid Taylor wanted to do a White Stripes song and uh, he asked another kid in his grade, Paul. So Paul played drums and Taylor played guitar and sang. And they were really happy about how it turned out. And they were like, yeah, that was really fun. And we like playing together. And you play drums and no one else does. So um, they were like, well, we should start a band. So they were just talking about it. And I said, oh, I can play bass. I want to play in a band. So we played our first show at Taylor's birthday party. And we were horrible. Like, we thought we were really good, and we were like, that went pretty well, yeah, you know, like. Um, and then after being together in the band for like three years, we started watching the video. We had refused to watch the video until then. We went through a few name changes. We were the new originals at first, but the name was actually taken, so it was new, spelled N3W, originals, and, and that was pretty bad. <laughs> The Oxford Fire, I don't know what that even meant. Um, and then Paul stumbled upon this like Beatles reference. It was all based off of like Paul being dead or something. Paul of the Beatles, not of our band. And um, of the one of their album covers, and it said "Be at Liso" on the front, and like Liso's an island off of Greece or something, where they said Paul was buried. So our band name was "Be at Liso." We got asked to play a Battle of the Bands, which was an interesting experience. We wrote one and a half songs for it. Like, we wrote our first song, Reconstruct, which we played for a very long time. And never recorded it. <laughs> And we did horrible in the Battle of the Bands. We did a, like, a lot of song covers and that one song we wrote. And every other band there is like selling t-shirts and stuff. And like we have like five albums already. And we're like, we were together for like three months. <laughs> we did another Battle of the Bands. It's the same Battle of the Bands, but the year after. And if you could sell 100 tickets to the, the venue, you would get a free 10 hours of recording. So. We sold all 100. I don't know how. Um, prostitution was probably involved for someone in the band. Um, and uh, we sold all 100 tickets. We got our free recording. And then it just sat there. We never used it. And, <laughs> and we started writing songs. And we got a good amount of songs, probably like seven or eight songs. And we were like, well, we should record an EP. And so we used those 10 hours of recording to record uh, our first EP, which was called Four Faces. I don't know if it's on iTunes anymore, but if you're free to look it up, be at least a Four Faces EP. I don't think it's any good, but, <laughs> but we recorded it. It's our first recording, so, you know. uh, I think two people bought it off iTunes, and it's like nine bucks a month to keep it up, so, like, it's definitely not worth it. Just like you. Just like you.